Hey there, folks. Welcome into this edition of Extra Time. We got Julian Laurent, we got Stevie Nickel, I'm Sebastian Salazar, and we have your questions fresh off of Twitter. We'll start with this one. Where does Karim Benzema rank among the best strikers right now? Jules, we talked about this in the show. What do you think? Oh, for me, he's right up there with, with Lewandowski. Two different styles of, of striker, of course. I, I don't think Lewandowski could have come up with that genius back heel of, of, of an assist on, on Sunday night, for example. But there are other times where Lewandowski scored goals that Benzema could not score. But I think, I think he's right up there in terms of, of pure number nine as one of the two best right now in, in the world. And, and thinking that he's, he's, he will be 33 in December, uh, and that he's still getting better and better and better. I think he, he deserves so much credit, not just for the assist against Espanyol, but I think for everything that he's done since he arrived at Real Madrid, the way he helped the team and Cristiano as well, and the way he then became so important for them when Cristiano left, I think he deserves so much credit. Stevie, which of the three noticeable changes, five subs, spare balls around the pitch, or water breaks, do you think could become permanent? Um, if, if you're lucky, the, the, the balls, because you, you're going to stop for a water break in December. I don't think so. And you can't have five subs. I mean, this really does absolutely give the bigger clubs um, a huge, huge advantage. So if anything, it will be the balls. Jules, the one you have to worry about is the water break, so they're definitely going to try and keep that. I'm thinking just for commercial purposes alone. Why commercial? We don't have any commercial in, in, in Europe. I'm telling you, place. it's going to stick around. You think, you think that's going to go away when all this is over? They've just built a chance to make millions of dollars in a commercial space in football <laughs> they've never had before. No chance that's going away. But Stevie is right. In December, <laughs> no when chance. Snowing, Holy smoke. In, 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 in Stoke, where you have a tea break, so they can warm up a bit and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, so they're not too cold and they go like... Because the, the, the cooling drink breaks only works when it's really hot, right? If, so in the UK, for example, it's, most of the season, that's not the case. We'll brand it a, a hydration break and they'll figure out a way to get it in. All right, uh, no doubt that Atalanta <laughs> can win a game at the Champions oh, League so tournament Hold on a minute, Lisbon. hold on a minute. Yeah. No, 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 that was a quick collapse. You went from telling Jules <laughs> this is no, no, going no, to can, happen. You guys can be wrong. It's okay, I've made my point. We'll see. The future will tell us. Shit. You think you think you think the business that runs football is going to turn, oh, turn leave away it, money? Leave it. That's fine. Move on. Leave it. <laughs> All right. Uh, team parlay picks uh, about Atalanta. Can they compete with the big boys like City, Bayern, Barcelona? If they do get to the semi-finals. Jules, uh, what do you think? Atalanta, can they make a deep run in this one-off tournament? I think the, the, the big luck that they had is that those, those quarter-finals and semi-finals would be over one game. If he'd been home and away, I think they, they might have struggled a bit more. But over one leg, it's just leveled the playing field so much that anything is possible with them. They're such a, a fantastic team going forward. They can, they, they can and will score against pretty much anyone. And I think that they could have easily two fantastic performances, let's say in the quarterfinal and semi-final, and then qualify for the final. Over the three games, it was still, it's still a hard task for a team like them with, with the lack of experience that both Gasperini and the players have to maybe go and go all the way, seeing that the teams are still left in the competition. But they certainly have a bigger chance now to go really find the Champions League compared to the chance that they had before when it was the normal format, if you want, with home and away and that kind of stuff. So, they have to believe. I mean, they've got nothing to lose anyway. It's, it's already a miracle that they went that far because they were almost out after four games in the group stages, seeing they had one point. For them to be in the quarterfinals is, is fantastic. And they, I think they would have nothing to lose. And I, I just would not fancy playing them at all. All right, speaking of miracles, Stevie, now that Sheffield United are on a poor run of form and will most likely not qualify for Champions League, isn't it a certainty that Jurgen Klopp will win manager of the season over Wilder? I think you've probably just answered your own question. Yeah, yeah, and he should. Um, listen, as great as great as Sheffield United have done, it's extraordinary. But what Liverpool have done, 
It's even more extraordinary. I mean, you, you, you talk about absolutely tearing apart every single team in the Premier League, mental points, breaking all kinds of records. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you can't not give it to Jurgen Klopp. Please, please make an argument for anybody else. I'm not good at making arguments in this space, so uh, I won't. Uh, last question. All-time favorite movies yeah, we for Stevie, earlier. Sebi, and Jules. <laughs> Jules, you first. <laughs> what did Sorry, you say? Was favorite question? movie I was on Jürgen Klopp and Chris Wilder and stuff like that. What was the question? All-time favorite movie. By the way, why didn't you ask me my opinion? Sebi and Jules. Jules, you get the first crack at it. Why didn't you ask me my opinion about best manager of the season? Why didn't you ask me? Why is it just Stevie? Do you want to? Yeah, sure. Okay. You think you think Chris Wilder will will win it even if they don't make Champions League? So as you're asking, and it's very kind of you of asking me as well as Stevie uh, Sebi. I was I was going to say um, that actually before the, the the Premier League resumed, I, I said on the show I, I think I was with with Danny uh, Hingenbottom that I would give it to Chris Wilder. And now I would like to review my judgment, please, and give it to Jurgen Klopp. Actually, not not just because Sheffield United have so falling away a little bit since the, 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 the restart, but because I really believe that Liverpool as well will, will, will keep on winning and will beat the records of number of points. Uh, they will have three wins in the last three home games in the league, which will mean they will be 19 out of 19 at home in a season, which is simply incredible. And I think after all of that, he will really, really deserve it even more than now. So I, I've just changed my mind. I just wanted to tell the whole world. Stevie, I didn't ask you about Atalanta. Were you heard about that? <laughs> Distraught. I nearly left. <laughs> Can we get to this last Jules question? Right. All-time favorite movies for Stevie, Sebi, and Jules. Stevie, what's your all-time favorite movie? <sighs> that, that's tough. I mean, there's a host. I mean, things like Braveheart are obviously very Scottish. Um, Another favourite of mine is a is a is a an old. It's based on the seventies. Um, Rita Sue and Bob Two. It's called. It's a classic. But I guess probably the film what? I've watched more than any, particularly recently, is Law Biden Citizen. Mm. With Gerard Butler. It's fantastic. You can every time you watch it, it just it's great. Jules. Jules, would you say what on Rita Sue and Bob Two? Yeah, it's only because I never heard of it. That's all. What's the story? Oh, it's set in it's set in Yorkshire, uh, and it's about uh, a couple and a couple of girls that babysit and the whole family. Uh, it's just set in the seventies. On a council. Yeah, you're really state. selling it. It's, it's great. <laughs> you're really well, it's, selling it's, it. It's I mean, kinda, I, I go and check it out. I'll, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, hold on, hold on. Here, I've got one for you, Julian, and you must get this. You will love it. It's called okay. Bostock's Cup. B O S T O C K S Cup. It's a classic about 70s okay. football in England. You will absolutely, honestly, you'll adore it. Bostock's Cup. Look I'll it up. Steve, why is it that Jules would adore it, but I wouldn't? Well, because it's about football and you don't know anything about football. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I mean, mean I you were looking for. for that one. You were looking for the answer. Oh, what? Hey, if you don't want the it answer, too easy don't ask TV. the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's put a bow on that edition of Extra Time. We are uh, back tomorrow. Plenty more. What about my movie? Back jokes hey, hey, what about Seb, my movie? I'm sure. What about Send my your movie? Questions the hashtag FC Extra Time. That's it, Jules. You want more questions? You didn't ask for my movie. Oh, okay. We, All right. we Jules, only have a Scottish collection you, of I asked 70s you the question movies. Three times, and you wanted to talk about Sheffield United and Atalanta and everybody else. I tell you, I've oh never seen God. so this much disrespect Stevie. to anybody in this show, Julian, than he's given you today. See, Stevie, Stevie, this is a shamble, ridiculous. This is a shamble. Talk about it. Com <laughs> custard pie. Complete custard pie. <laughs> so my movie has to be Gladiator. I'm sorry, it's not very original, but are you not entertained? No. All right. That's, that's it. Too long. <laughs> All right, that's it for extra Come time. On, watch uh, all your movies ahead of tomorrow's <laughs> show. We'll be back. Plenty to discuss. Don't miss it. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.